Hi, I'm Sean Quinn from Highland Radio. Today I'm on to talk about the upcoming Letterkenny Business Chamber Awards in 2022. I'm joined by Sinead Dooley, Head of Public Engagement with Airgrid, and Tony Forrester, the CEO of Letterkenny Chamber of Commerce. Ladies, you're both very welcome. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Tony, can I come to you first? Um, what is the idea behind the Letterkenny uh, Business Chamber Awards? So we've been running the awards for a number of years. Um, um, obviously back with a bang this year, having had to have two years off. Um, and really the idea behind it is celebrating business and celebrating everything there is good about business. So businesses trudge along all day, not trudge, they, but they work their business all day, they work at it all day. And we felt that there was a, a space in, in Donegal to celebrate that achievement. And you know, they you go out to see a business and they tell you a little bit about their business and all of a sudden it becomes this real thing. And when when we always say as marketers over the years, I've always said, put your awards up on your website. So when they get an award, they're very proud of it. Um and and even getting through part of this the process of it makes this achievement really worthwhile. So it's celebration, really, Sean. Yeah, and it's, I suppose it's great, it's always great to celebrate success and progress. Um, I'm talking of progress. So we've gone through the nomination stage and it's now closed and it's been shortlisted. Um, and we come to the exciting part, which is the, the voting. So tell me more about the voting process and how that works. Yeah, so we have got the category down to three nominees um, who will go through to the final. So as a bit of engagement and um, to get the best out of this opportunity for our businesses, we open a poll on each category. So over the next week, two weeks, we will go through each category on our social medias and Highland social media and anywhere we can get the news out there. And uh, attached to each of those posts will be a poll. So you can vote for the, the people you like the best and you'll be able to vote. You only vote once, I think. Um, but you'll be able to vote and, and just who you like the best and you can vote in all categories. Um, so it's it's really it injects a bit of um, fun, injects a bit of engagement, and it also contributes a little bit to the winner. But we also wait, we have to wait that obviously we, you know you can't just um, let public because somebody who's good on social media will get big big polls. So we wait it a little bit, and then we look at those at about a week before the the closing the the event and see who's topped the polls. But it's it's it's. It's really good for our for engagement for all the businesses who who went to the bother of applying. Yeah, that sounds great. And and what we'll also do is we will use um, Highland Radio to encourage people to to go onto the social channels um, to vote. But we will make it clear that you can only vote once because I'd be party to maybe voting a couple of times for my friends. But don't <laughs> don't say anything there. We'll no. keep that between us, Sinead, um <laughs> Airgrid have become the principal sponsor for the Letterkenny Chamber Awards in 2022. Um, why did you decide to support the awards this year? Yeah, I look delighted to join yourself and, and Tony for this um, today as well. Going back to what Tony said, it's it's the awards celebrate the very best of business in Donegal. And this was a gives recognition to local businesses showcases their success and, and gives them an opportunity to show how ambitious they are. It's been a tough couple of years, as we know, for businesses across the country and communities. And in Airgrid, it's supposed, we understand the importance of supporting local economies and communities and businesses and are there at the heart of everything we do. So, look, it's important for businesses to celebrate their achievements. Too often we all look at the negative in life. It, it's a, I'm really looking forward to the event itself and to see all of the talent coming through. But it just... It is nice to acknowledge the achievements and we're just delighted to be able to be involved and support these awards in whatever way that we can. So we're delighted to be involved here, Sean. Yeah, and it's great to have you. Um, and I know that I was, I, I was, I wasn't a partner, but I helped uh, in the citizen roadshows that you did earlier this year mm -hmm. uh, in Donegal and you got great crowds for that. It was phenomenal. And it was a great opportunity for you to talk about what Airgrid are doing. Um, how can these events create a foundation for more recognition of the work that Airgrid do in the community? 
Yeah, and I suppose, and, and you're right, the first word you used was partner, and you were a partner in it, and I think local radio, radio are hugely important, be it the promotion of Letterkenny Chamber of Commerce or what they're doing, or certainly in promoting of the events that we had held in, in Donegal. Donegal and Letterkenny were the very first locations for our Energy Citizen Roadshow, so we're quite nervous when you're launching a new initiative. It's hard to know how it's going to land, how well it's going to be received, but we believe to kind of an why we're doing it and what we're doing. So it was really heartening for us on both of those nights to turn up on fine evenings, bright evenings, and yet to have packed rooms on both. I suppose we wanted to come in and still want to come into communities to speak to people, businesses, farmers, self-employed about the work we do and how it will play an integral role in future transition to the clean, green energy, um, but also outlining what it will mean for the county, what business opportunities there are, what growth opportunities for the region. But uh, we saw firsthand, this was last year, we spoke to you about our consultation around the country and shaping. There was a huge interest of people who want to become involved, who want to know what they can do in terms of A, looking at our climate action targets, but also what can I do as a person in terms of looking at my security of supply, uh, keeping the cost of energy down, microgeneration on farms. So we saw it as an opportunity, Sean, to bring all of those stakeholders together, ESB networks from microgeneration viewpoint, Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland and ourselves to try and take the red tape out of the process. It's very difficult for people sometimes to try and know who's responsible for what and who does it. So that's what we use the air grid energy shows for, is to go out and just talk to people face to face, back to what we're good at doing it in Ireland, meeting people and talking. And it was just that to provide the information. We were very, very well received in Donegal. So that gave us the encouragement to roll it out around the rest of the country. Um, but again, look, just an opportunity for us to speak to people about their role in the community, our role in the community, and just to try and build those bridges with people as well. And the great thing that I noticed a part of that was that uh, it was it was plain English. People could understand, you know, what, what the message you were trying to get across. And as it's something, that, and I'm also I'm delighted to embrace the fact that it was Donegal was a first. You did it in Donegal yeah. first, which is great. And we'd be delighted if you can come back in 2023 because I think there's a bigger message still to tell and to to inform people and you can never tell them enough about progress but also opportunity and that word change which is sometimes is quite difficult absolutely and and in my experience over the years and a good few years experience under my belt unfortunately sean more than i'd like to tell but um I, I think when you leave a vacuum and, and you don't provide the information, that's what causes, no matter what you're doing, I'm not just talking about air grid or electricity or grids or any of that, I'm talking in general in life, and it's a bit like the support that businesses get from Letterkenny Chamber of Commerce. You know, you can't afford to leave a gap in terms of communication and, and have it filled with misinformation. So that plain English, is, and I'm glad you said it, because that's what we've been trying to do, and I'm glad that you've acknowledged that, is just to have, as I say, to those very simple conversations with people. Yes, I know people fear change and the fear maybe development of grid infrastructure in an area, but we explain the process. And if we want to meet and provide renewable energies and provide business opportunities, unfortunately, as people would see it, we need to develop the grid, but we need to be able to explain, as you say, in plain English language, why we're doing it, how we're doing it, but most importantly, listening to the voices of communities and landowners as to how they want us to develop, not leave a gap and silence you know, that day is thankfully gone. It's that two-way dialogue bringing communities and businesses to the table and that we co-design our routes and that everybody knows every step of the way what we're doing, when we're doing it and why we're doing it. So that's, it's not rocket science. We're literally just talking to people. Yeah, which is which is fantastic. And I suppose the, the community feel and business feel, Tony, is, is one of the biggest reasons why the business awards have been successful over the years and they're well established at this stage. Just remind me of some of the categories that people can win on the, uh, the 11th of November. Yes, yeah, so we have a big wide range. We have uh, 12, and we have 14 awards, but we have 12 category ones that we talk about. And I suppose I pick out ones that um, are always really popular, business excellence. And that can be anything, but mostly it comes down to how people manage their business. And it's usually a business that's you know, a wee bit more mature has grown and, and they know how to, to get the best out of everything in their business and their processes are good. We have a, a one that we, we we really like, the community one best health, best community health and wellbeing initiative. And that's all around how we improve the health of our communities. You know, no matter what we do in life, our healthy community is so important. 
um, whether that's good electricity or or anything, we just need we need that. We brought a new one in this year, um, business through Irish, and uh, that's a big growing thing. We're a Gale Talk um, gateway, I'm going to say, and uh, or a gateway to Gale Talk, um, and we just think that's really important to start now. It's baby steps this year, uh, but next year we'll see that grow, and. Um, Another one that's quite topical, I suppose, is accessibility, diversity and inclusion. And, you know, that speaks to all of us about our communities and how we integrate with different types of people from different backgrounds, different abilities. Um, and they're they're all becoming really, really popular over the years. We have, um, I, I, I don't know if you want to, uh, I will tell you, we have a business person of the year and we have Hall of Fame as well. And they're, they're two big awards that we give um, from the Chamber. And who chooses the business person of the year? They're done with um, business person and hall of fame are done by a part of our committee. Um, so we we look at we get applications. We actually get nominee nominations from people, and um, we look around and we talk about them uh, and we decide between a small group of people. And it's always kept as a surprise um, on the night. So um, and usually they're quite surprised that they're even they know they're getting it, but they don't tell anybody else. So it's a it's a real it's, it's a beautiful it's a really lovely part of our evening. And you know once we get through all the awards and we've got business person hall of fame at the very end, and uh, you know the room stands up and mostly people know people who get so it's it's a lo it's a lovely part of our event. And I'm not saying because as soon as we start giving out awards, you can feel the energy in the room growing and growing and growing. <laughs> which is fabulous for us you know so so people people love watching other people get awards as well even if they don't get one themselves yeah i remember uh, back in 2019 which is the last one it was uh, it, it's just a great crescendo to the whole event because it's something special to be to have that to be given that achievement in front of your peers and 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 it's it's great that we're able to get back into a room and we'll go into that in a little bit later Sinead, just um to Airgrid are also sponsoring the Sustainable Superstar category. Um, do you think your involvement as a, a brand in this particular category will encourage businesses to consider energy security and the part that they can play in the sustainability of the future energy needs? Yeah, I know. Suppose, look, Sean, given our role in delivering, as such, the cleaner energy future and working up towards eighty percent of electricity coming from renewable energy by twenty thirty, like we'd obviously love to see others playing their part too. So, businesses these days are making the change and um, to be more sustainable, both for climate purposes but also for energy reasons. So in supporting these efforts, it's great to be especially involved with this category. We're looking forward to seeing the, the shortlist, to see what initiatives are coming forward to in Letterkenny. And for Letterkenny, look, at we were the first as I say, in terms of our, our location for an energy roadshow. It would be great to see Letterkenny Chamber Awards being a first in terms of the sustainability awards and developing that over the years as well to try and encourage more people to take part. So it was a no brainer for us to be the, the main sponsors of that particular one. So yeah, look at really looking forward to see what interest and how we can work with Tony and the Chamber, hopefully into the future in terms of how to develop that even further. Very good, and and it's a it's a relatively new uh, category, Tony. Am I right in saying it's uh, and it's going to be a growing category? Is that fair to say? I personally, I really do think so. You can you can hear in this part of having Ergot, I think, sponsoring it. You can hear the conversations changing, and a wee bit of that is out of necessity, but other bits of it are. Maybe we can move this forward a bit quicker than we thought we could. So I have a few businesses even in the background who didn't apply this year. Yeah, I definitely know will be on board next year. They'll have moved their sustainability processes forward. But it's the whole sustainability um, conversation that we're all trying to have. Yeah. Um, and I think this really ticks the box for us. And if I could even come back in there, Sean, in terms of, you know, again, looking at what we did last year in Letter Kenny. I think it'd be great now that we're building this collaboration piece between us as well, that we can look and see what do businesses want and if we can facilitate sustainable development goals, conversation, training for, for businesses in the area, you know, let's put on our thinking cap, stop reinventing the wheel and whatever we can do to try and help businesses to grow this area and be it training, be it information evenings, whatever, that we just all work together and, and try and make it because it doesn't have to be a huge program that they undertake any little step and, and it really is little steps we saw that with individuals on the night so whatever steps that businesses can take towards a more sustainable business for the from themselves from a cost saving 
perspective as well really has to be embraced. And I think that's something that we can all work on together and ro roll out across Donegal as well. Yeah, and, and, and you know, we're looking at... Um... 2030 and 2050 as future plans but it's really what we can do today that can make a difference to change it as you correctly said step by step um in the community and in businesses how can they help airgrid to achieve their goals is there anything they can do today just a small thing to say we've made a little bit of change Look, that's a 90 and 90 marker question, you know, I mean, fine, we look at the bigger thing, but I think going back again to the energy citizen roadshows that were rolling out, what really caught people's imagination there is it's that micro generation piece, whether it's solar panels on the roof of your home, whether it's one lady in particular, I remember had a, has a potato farm and, you know, a load of outhouses and sheds that's a ripe for opportunity in terms of putting on solar panels and now the opportunity to sell back to the grid. So not alone are you self-sufficient, but you're also selling back to the grid and making money as well. Now, that's one thing, but the retrofitting of homes, insulation of homes, you know, I think, again, down to rainwater harvesting. If you think back to what families did 50 years ago and 80 years ago, we're, that, that was sustainable. We didn't realise it at the time when you were had a barrel down under a a downpipe outside collecting the water, but the rainwater harvesting, thinking the way nearly almost that people did it back in the day, small steps for houses for the minute. But since you look at going back to the point in terms of the road shows, they're the sort of conversations that we build on what we've done today, that people can just find something that's comfortable for them to do, cost effective, and that they are doing their part as well towards this. So I'd say small steps for the start, Sean, and then people build on that and grow. Yeah, that's great. And Tony, just um, just good look. Let's move forward now to the the actual event. So, tell me more about um the actual chamber, the evening on the eleventh of November. What's what's going to happen? What can people look forward to? Okay, so we'll have our our um lovely a drinks reception as you come in and um, it's a black tie event so it's a uh, glamour and glitz and we have seen some people on socials already saying oh i have to get a guy i have to get a guy um so we always enjoy that part of it and once we have we go in we have dinner um uh, lovely dinner in the my garden hotel and um then we'll start the awards so we'll just we'll go through them fairly rapidly the the 12 and then the last two um we'll have a few speeches and uh, our sponsors will be acknowledged and at the end, you know, it's really just the celebration. And then there's um, a bit of dancing. You know, not everybody knows that. It's not just it's not just speeches and talks and <laughs> words. So there's a bit of dancing, a bit of fun. Um, and we always try and have it. All, it's a it's a it's an important celebration for us. And it's an important night for us. You know, we do have sessions and people like that come. But at the end of the day, this is about the businesses enjoying themselves. And people bring their staff and people bring you know their friends and family. Um, and if we can enjoy that, so we'll go on to the ERs usually. So, but so it's what been a saying, while, so I don't, I don't know if we even know how to go out anymore. So what, you're, <laughs> what, what you're saying to me here basically is, I have to go and hire a suit, and I've got to go and get dancing lessons. Is that right? And clean your high heels, John. And yeah. clean what? Clean your high heels as well. We're back in the high heels for the uh, night. Well, I'll leave the high heels to you two, <laughs> ladies. Now, in fairness, yeah. and, and every, you know, the, it the sounds thing, as though it's going to be a great night, Tony. Sounds yeah. Like the other grand. thing, Sean is. All our all our categories are sponsored as well, you know, so they all get to showcase themselves on the evening, you know, just by being there. And and after the event, we also publish everyone's photograph, all the finalists' photographs on the night in our chamber magazine. Go out to the and that's a real, you know, people love, read magazines, yes, they do, but they love pictures. So all of that will be there and uh, there will hopefully be some surprises on the night as well. And the, the other thing, and I mean, I think people, we, we've all forgotten, I mean, in terms of the last couple of years that we've had, the businesses and families haven't had as many opportunities as they would have in the past to go out, be it Christmas lunches or Christmas dinner, everything was put on hold. So in terms of giving it a plug, Tony, I'd be saying to every business in Donegal, it is a great opportunity to bring out your staff to acknowledge how difficult they've had in the last number of years. And I also, from being at those events, I love where, you know, your business person of the year and your hall of fame to see families coming back together. I know they obviously know a little bit in advance. So that is a lovely opportunity because normally you have people who've contributed hugely to society in terms of, you know, employment and, 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 and contributing to the society. So it really is a lovely chance to see all of the family getting together to acknowledge one of their own. And Sean said earlier, for your peers to acknowledge you 
is the key thing here that you're, you know, for anybody else to say it, but for your own people in the area to vote for you to be the best business on the night is, is a huge, huge attribute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's, that's exactly what it's for. Networking as well on the evening too. You can never network enough to to uh, to your um, you know, your, your, it could be your competitor, or it could be just another business. Just learn how they're doing things, and it's always good to put your hand in your pocket and buy the odd little drink as well, in celebration and celebration of somebody who's been successful. And that's always a great story. And we also have, you know, we we also have a raffle on the night, and we we raise some money for cancer cancer care West. This is our, our, our president's nominated charity. So that's always, you know, um, a nice thing to do as well. And I would say if you're going to do networking, Sean, do it early. <laughs> <laughs> You'll promise we, too much later on in the evening. Uh, yeah. If, 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 giving away if, free stuff. If we go on too much longer, there'll be no tickets left because this is the biggest sales pitch ever I saw. Free ads and, for Highland Radio. Exactly. Tony, you have a very busy few weeks ahead. Um, you're going to uh, visit in the shortlisted businesses. Um, I want to wish you and the judges the very best of luck in the coming weeks. It's no mean feat uh, trying to decide on the winners in each category. I don't envy you. I'm glad I'm not part of that process. Um, Sinead, I'm sure Tony will join me in thanking you uh, and Airgrid for your support. And uh, we look forward to hearing more about the plans and opportunities of Airgrid you have in the coming months and years. Um, and we look forward to welcoming you in, in person to Donegal on Friday the 11th of November. And I think it will be a celebration, a brilliant night of entertainment. Uh, so for this, Tony uh, Forrester, the CEO of Letterkenny Chamber of Commerce, thank you for joining me. And Sinead Dooley, Head of uh, Publications with Airgrid, also thank you for joining me. Before I go, just to let people know that tickets are available for the Business Awards at info at letterkennychamber.com. And Tony, is there a phone number that you can ring as well? 074? 9124866. And come in early and buy early and you're guaranteed to have a seat on the evening. Ladies, okay. thank you for joining me. Looking forward to it. See you then. Thanks thank you. so much, Sean. Well, thank you.